Okay. Well, also, I want you to know that after you left and your other friends showed up, everybody was talking shit about you and the fact that, of course, you left. Of course, I left. And then I was like, you guys, one time I hung up on Chris before he could hang up on me. And they were like, whoa, really? <laughs> Hey there, adventurers. Welcome to Let's Just Go Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Kayla. And this week, we're actually going to talk about something that's not a travel destination. But Chris and I are both getting ready to go on vacation. So I thought best thing we could talk about is what we pack when we go on vacation. Yeah, what what better yeah. way to just go than being ready to go, right? At all times. I see yeah. even you have your uh, suitcases behind you. <laughs> Those are actually for sale. If anybody in the Philadelphia area is looking for luggage, I have two barely used pieces that were for a cross country trip. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice. So, all right, what's on your list? Let's talk about what kind of packer are you, right? Are you the 87 days in advance and you're making lists and you start? Or are you, my flight's in four hours, I'm going to start? That's the one you are. I know that already. Uh, (laughs) I am, I have the best of intentions. That's who I am. I think I'm going to pack ahead of time. I might get out luggage a week ahead and then put absolutely nothing in it. Um, or I might like, I, I will sometimes like think about things and like put them in my reminders app on my phone of like, oh, I need to remember to take this with me. Um, but no, I'm a like day before packer usually. And it's easier if you're going somewhere where the climate's different, but if it's like summer and you're going somewhere warm and you already, you need your shorts and your t-shirts <laughs> and your, you know, I mean, it's hard for me, it's hard to do that. And I'm, I think much better in that like last second moment, like, all right. Are you also the type that plans your outfits? So you take exactly what you need and maybe one extra pair of underwear? <laughs> or are you okay. just like, it's eh, funny five that you ask that. Did you see the TikTok? I think it was in like 2020 or 2021 of the girls who were all going on vacation and they, at, they were like, Sarah, how many pairs of underwear did you pack for our seven day trip? And like, <laughs> There was the one girl who packed exactly seven pairs of underwear and all of her friends were like, what? And like the comment section was like, absolutely not. That person is a psychopath. (laughs) How can you only pack exactly the pair that you need? Like that's unacceptable. I won't, I won't go into a lot of detail, but I have shit my pants twice as an adult sober. So I, I think it's really important. Wait, I think both were actually on vacation too. So it's important that you, yeah, it's really important, you know. Well, that and like, especially in the summertime, it's hot. Yeah, like, you're, you got swamp. You got swamp ass. You don't want to like stay in the same pair of underwear. Ugh. Or like you're going, especially if you're going to a theme park and you're going on like a water ride, you want a change of underwear, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I agree. I don't, I, pa- I plan outfits, but then I pack extra things because... <laughs> I'm not good at sticking to decisions that I make in the same way that I can buy groceries for the week and then it'll be the end of the week. And I'm like, I don't want this. Um, I will pack like extra shirts or like an extra pair of pants. And then, yeah, I pack like twice as many pairs of underwear as I actually need. <laughs> yeah. No, I was similar. I like the analogy to the grocery store. You're like walking down. It's like Sunday morning. You're like, Ooh, gluten-free. Yep. Yeah. Ooh vegetables and then you get home and you're like who the fuck bought cucumbers and hummus i want fucking nachos <laughs> brian brian is who got cucumbers and hummus this week i was like absolutely not this is not a thing i'm gonna eat why would you have bought god this god damn it i want fucking nachos so you, you never know right what if you shit your pants what if it rains what if it you yes. know whatever what if it's really cold and wherever you're going inside and the air conditioning's on or whatever mm-hmm. i think the hardest Part, the hardest place I've ever packed for was Alaska because I just didn't really know what to expect. And we were, we were doing a lot of adventure things. So there were moments where I was in winter garb, but I was sweating profusely. I mean, so it was, it, that was tricky. That was real tricky to, uh, to pack for. So, all right. So now we know what kind of packer you are. Mm-hmm. I pack very last minute. I often, if, if I have time, I usually 
get the first flight, right? Like, so if I have mm-hmm. time in the morning, I will do it that morning of. Otherwise, I am like the last thing before I go to bed. Okay, but are you a carry on or are you a checked bag guy? Oh, God. So I, I used to always check a bag, right? And so I have status with American. I can check bags for free, but I, um, if, if I'm like going. bag you just threw in there. <laughs> You know, executive plan them. Um, the, the, please, I have no status anywhere else in my life. So give me a break. All right. Just let me, let me live for a minute. Um, I forget the question you asked me because I have ADHD. Do you check a bag or are you a carry on guy? Uh, oh, shit. Um, no, I, so. You know, I'd say post COVID, I'm definitely carry on, right? I mean, and I got it. I've got it pretty much down to a science. I mean, unless maybe I'm going somewhere for a week, you know, that's more than three or four days, and I'm not going to have access to laundry. But I would rather, I would rather pay for laundry services and just do a carry on. How about you? I it depends. I'm usually carry on only. So like Brian and I did three weeks in Europe last year, and we were strictly carry ons, and That's, that you're was a you're a psycho. But you were staying in <laughs> places that had access to laundry, right? Yeah, yeah. Most of the places we stayed, we had washers and dryers. Once we got on our cruise, we had washers. We didn't have dryers. Europe doesn't have dryers. Um, once we got on our cruise, sorry, oh, there's gosh. cats. That did you hear that? <laughs> I didn't hear they like came like running in. Um, once we get on the cruise, though, we shipped out our laundry and had them wash. Like first day of the cruise, which I'm sure people were like, "Why are you, the first day? Like what?" Um, so, like my trip coming up is about a week and a half, and I'm gonna try my hardest to do carry on only, and do laundry again as soon as we get on the ship if I have to. Um, because we're getting on the wish and they have like gigantic laundry rooms. So I will yes. happily go do that first thing when we get on the ship. Um, but it really, de- like our river cruise in December, I will be packing a checked bag because I'm going to have so much winter gear that I need to wear um, yeah, that I'm not going to be able to just take a carry on. Right. Yeah. No, that's fair. Yeah. Um. I don't do it because of saving the bag. I said, I do it though. It's really convenient. Like I just traveled three straight weeks, right? I was in Curacao on a Virgin cruise and I was in Florida and every single flight. So that was six flights. Really? It was really 10 flights because I had layovers. Mm. Every single one of them was delayed or there were issues. I didn't know if I was going to make it right. Like there's been a little bit of a stretch of chaos every single one. And, or we, and I'm like, okay, I'm glad I don't, I'm not managing bags because, Mm -hmm. you know, and I think, especially when traveling internationally, people don't realize most cases you have to check your bag at the first place you land. People are like, oh, it's fine. I have a 42 minute layover. No, that's only fine if (laughs) that is only fine if you are flying domestically and the bag is moving with, right? I mean, so otherwise you have to get off, get your bag, recheck it. And depending on where you are, like Philly, that's not awful, but like Miami, I mean, if it's, you know, or probably one of the New York airports, it's chaos. Yeah, right. So um you need you need a lot of time but if you just have your carry on you're just boom 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 you know you're moving around i ran 2.8 miles with my carry on in the miami airport coming back from curacao to make my next flight absolutely not i yeah. was just gonna say um the very first thing i pack and that i i put them in my luggage uh as soon as i get the luggage and then i never touch it again is an air tag <sighs> Because that way, if my shit does get lost, I also have in my um, passport wallet, I have one of the tile like card readers or like the, you know, the ones that look like a card, like a credit card. I have one of those in my passport. Like I'm, (laughs) I lost my passport once for like a decade. I'm not doing that shit again. (laughs) That's not going to happen to me ever again. So (laughs) 
<laughs> no, that sounds awful. So you start packing. What are, what's yeah. in your must haves? Well, actually, before we jump to that, are you the packing cube type of girl or yeah. not? You are. Yeah, I'm packing cube. I am bag for shoes. I like things to be like as neat as possible, especially so that I can just take out the packing cube and like put it in a drawer if I'm staying someplace for like an extended, you know, couple of days. Um, but I also have my toiletry bags pre-packed. So like I already have every toiletry and like beauty skincare thing that I'm going to need with the exception of my toothbrush packed. Like it's ready. I just need to put it into the bag that I'm taking with me. All right. So packing cubes, I dabbled in them recently. I'm not feeling them. I don't feel, I mean, cause I get there and I'm like, I'm not going to unpack. And it's just, for me, it's, it's not that, it's not as convenient as I, in my head was like, oh, this is nice and organized, but then it's not. I can help you. It's fine. <laughs> but you, start, you, you started talking about toiletries that I think that throws people the most. Right. And that's probably the hardest tip there is like, you know, when you get somewhere and you're an underwear short or, but people are like, shit, I missed my toothbrush or my deodorant. And like, it's easy to get that, but then you're paying a premium price and you're like, oh, but I really like this deodorant or, you know what I mean? And, and now you feel like, like, damn it, uh, you're a little unraveled because you don't have your stuff that you're used to or your shampoo or your, you know, um, mm -hmm. so I love the idea. I am the same way. So I have travel size, everything already packed, right? So that in, from almost all of my toiletries, so I don't have to repack it or forget something in the morning as I'm rushing after I shower before I leave for the airport and I'm throwing everything in the bag and I forget this or that. I do usually buy though, I usually, you know, like a dollar twenty nine the travel toothbrushes and then I just mm -hmm. throw them out. They skewed me out of when they sit in my toiletry bag. Um uh, so I do usually buy them and then just toss them after the trip. Um that's... I use an electric toothbrush. So like I have a whole it like came with a carrying case and stuff. I just, um, if I'm traveling for longer than like a week or two, I'll also pack the charger for it because it like plugs into the wall. Um, but that, yeah, that's the one thing that I make sure I grab before I leave. But like I've even, um, I've bought like separate cuticle cutters and separate nail clippers and like they just live in my stuff. And like I have like a nail file because like, I don't know if this is a like neurodivergent thing or a woman thing or what, but like my nails will drive me crazy. And if I don't have the things to like fix them, like if I get like a hangnail or something or like a nail breaks, because when you travel, your nails are going to break. Um, I need to have those things. So I realized that I needed to just actually invest in getting something to put in my carry on. Yep. That's the, that is the key. Pay the money to have you know, buy the things so that you're not stressed and you know exactly what's in your bag. Um, and then I have mastered like the carry on and then my backpack fits everything. So my shoes, my laptop, my iPad, my shoes, my toiletries, all my charging cables fit into my backpack. And then my backpack has the strap that goes on the, the band of, or like the yeah. handle of the yeah. carry on. So I'm just moving, holding one thing, um, I know exactly where my passport is, where my wallet is, right? I do always forget to get cash. I just feel like you should have some cash while traveling. And I that is never... a very good tip. Yeah. I actually was thinking about that recently. I need to get cash before my trip because I'm going on a cruise. And so I want to be able to have cash to give people on the cruise. I'm also going to be needing a taxi at one point. So I'm going to need cash for the taxi. Yeah. That's a very good point. I don't yeah. have cash right now for that. No. But I will say, you're talking about cords and things. I actually have a little tech bag that is prepackaged. Like, I have an extra charger for my computer yep. and cord. Um, my mouse fits in it perfectly if I want to take my mouse with me. Like, I do have, like, random things that I don't have doubles of. Like, my Aura ring, I don't have a second charger for it. So I do have to remember to take that with me if I'm traveling for more than a couple of days. Um, but for the most part, like I even have a little to go thing of pills, like all my medicine is just ready to go. I just need to throw it in a bag, which is really nice. Why do you, that's a lot of medicine. 
I mean, it's and like yet- Tylenol, ibuprofen, Excedrin. Okay. Pepto-Bismol. Yep. What else is in here? Benadryl, because Brian and his allergies are a risk I'm not willing to take. Aleve. Because like smart. some people some people can't take ibuprofen and some people can't take Tylenol. And so it's like, I'm not only packing for me, I'm packing for others as well. I like it. I like it. No, I love I, same. I have I have two computer chargers. People are like, that's crazy. I'm like, no. What's crazy is being in the middle of somewhere and not having what you need. That is that is batshit crazy, right? And we travel enough that it makes sense to have, you know, multiples of things. But I have all of that so that I don't even have to unplug my home chargers because everything is already in my bag. Plus, it is it is my backpack that I take if I'm going on like a business call or something. So like it's easy for me to just leave it in that bag because then it's always there. Because when I take that my backpack, it's it's ready to go. Yeah. Um, yeah, though, yeah, I don't have two like earbuds and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I just have the one set of AirPods. Uh, that's the one I do have a backup wired one, though, just in case I do forget it. I know, I know, but I know Brian has Wait. like 10 pairs of headphones, and I just have the one. You know what's wild to me? Let's talk about that for a minute. I know it's not the topic of this, call, but you know what's wild to me? Humans on planes. Humans on planes that do two different things. Take off their fucking shoes, you skanky fuck. Disgusting. Okay? Absolutely not. All right. I'm okay with that. It is weird. It's weird, but I'm okay with it. I'll tell you what should be illegal. When you take your nasty feet and walk into that bathroom, I've watched it happen too many times, and I don't care, right? I, I, I don't care. Your feet are not going to touch me, but are you unwell? Like, do you need a third? Yes. What's happening there? What is happening? That bathroom is disgusting. Any bathroom is disgusting. The bat, the plain bathroom. Plain bathrooms are the worst. Oof. So, all right. Wait, what's the second kind of person? You said there's two people. What was this? What was the other one? Oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> ADHD again. Um, the people who are like the babies crying three seats behind you and they're like, looking back. Are you going to shut that baby up? No, bitch. You're on a fucking plane. Buy some fucking he- earbuds. Put on a sound machine like every other normal <laughs> human, right? I don't want to hear the person next to me snoring. I don't want to hear the baby crying. But the way to not be annoyed by any of that is to bring your own shit. Yeah. I, it drives me insane when people are getting all frustrated and you can tell and they're like moving around. I'm like, first of all, this is life. And so you're just going to deal with it. I mean, babies cry. I don't know what to tell you. Like... But that drives me insane. I'm like, do you not have earbuds that you can pop in? It and is hard on? though when there's like, you know how is it the big? There's a Disney movie that at the beginning it's like one dog's barking and then all the other dogs bark. I think it's Aristocats. I could be wrong, but like that happens on planes. One baby cries and then all of a sudden every yes. baby is crying. That is awful. That actually should stop. <laughs> Someone should get their children under control there. <laughs> yes. Maybe they need your Benadryl. Um, maybe <laughs> give them some just, scotch they'll be fine yeah, that's what our parents did i think that's why we're <laughs> highly medicated and in therapy but the um <laughs> yeah so thereby too like come on people just have a plan have a plan assume the person next to you now the only other thing is like body odor i, I that i struggle with and well, i don't know what you're gonna do <sighs> but disney in the summertime you want to talk about body odor. Oof. It's awful. It's awful. It is so bad. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you pack deodorant, please. If there's ever please a time. Pack deodorant. You yeah. wished your nose didn't work. Um, so back to back to packing. Are there any other things like any gadgets, anything that you like have to have that makes your life easier while traveling? Yeah, so I have a MagSafe charger on my phone. So I always make sure I have a MagSafe battery. So like I have two actually, but the one that I use the most is uh what brand is this? Mophie? Yeah, it's Mophie and I actually got one. it has a you can't really see. It has a wallet on it so I can like put my cards in it and it can just like live in my pocket no problem and it'll charge my phone, it'll charge Brian's phone, whoever I'm with. It charges no problem which is really great um also recently i've been really into like having a portable fan so when i went to new york city last year i hunted high and low 
trying to find a portable fan because it was fucking awful how hot it was and like you're on the subway and it's a million degrees underground and it's just awful so um i recently upgraded my fan i'm very excited taking it on this trip um next week and it's great because i have it like easy to grab out use you know throw it in my bag when i'm not using it but that also brings me to the point i usually have a belt bag that i take with me if i'm going to theme parks like i don't like having a backpack at the theme parks but i don't like not having a bag because i usually want to reapply sunscreen because i hate not like i hate getting sunburned and it it's summertime of course i'm going to be out in the sun all day um so i set a timer on my apple watch when i'm wearing it for 80 minutes every time I apply my sunscreen. I'll actually usually set it for like an hour so that if I need to like go somewhere to get my sunscreen, I have the like buffer to reapply. I learned that though when I was living in Texas and going to water parks like every weekend was that I needed to reapply sunscreen because it was coming off even faster when you're in the water all day long. Right. Yeah. Well, I think that's, I like that idea. Of, I, I do bring, um, like a little, it is a, you call it a belt bag, like a fanny pack. Is that what you yeah. mean? Yeah. Yeah. So like you put something like an over the, like a, something you can throw over your shoulder, your shoulder or something, mm-hmm. something quick and easy because, and again, yeah, I mean, even it's cool for dudes to have it. It's cool. It Brian but, has uh, one. but I agree. I mean, when you're doing those things or even if you're on a cruise and you're going out doing excursions, like you want to keep your wallet safe, close, you know what I mean? Like pickpocket kind of stuff. And then you want, Maybe you have a poncho in there if you're doing an excur- like you know an excursion or you're at a theme yeah. park or um, the sunscreen. I always have my battery backup charger. That's something I always mm-hmm. travel with. Is that um, because yeah. when you're traveling, you're probably on your phone. You know, you're recording, you're taking photos, your video, and um, you're doing a lot of stuff on your phone. So yeah. you might be doing using it for direction somewhere. Um, mm-hmm. So it, it dies even faster than at home. So I like that. Um, the portable fan, I might need to invest in the portable fan. You should. Yeah. It might need to be my next, my next purchase. It's they're inexpensive. I think I paid $10 for my first one. And then the one I just got was 15. So like, they're not, um, they're not like an investment. Like you can get ones that are really fancy and that would be like, I've, I saw some that were like a hundred bucks. I don't need all that. Um, but it's nice to have, especially like. If you're on a plane and it they haven't turned on the plane yet, oh my, I've had times that I have I this is had never happened to me until I was in San Antonio, and they would not let us load our plane until the temperature dropped outside because it was too hot. And I was like, I used to live in Vegas. Like this is never an issue in Vegas. Why is this a problem in San Antonio? So like, and you know how they'll be like, please make sure that you close the window shades before you get off so that it helps keep the the airplane cool so like it's really nice to have the fan in those situations where you're like wow i'm actually gonna suffocate before we even pull back from the gate that so, is true. yeah and you're that's an anxiety inducing time of the of the trip anyway like people are loading and you're getting you settled and you're like are we gonna take mm-hmm. off and my pits are sweating so you're already warmer than usual you know mm-hmm. so. But the flip side of that is that regardless of the temperature outside, it can be 120 degrees. I am going to pack a cardigan or sweatshirt because I know that if it is hot outside, it is going to be freezing cold inside and I don't like being cold. So I will make sure that I have layers regardless of what the weather is like. Yeah. So that is a great tip to have something easily accessible. I learned that the hard way. My flight to Fort Lauderdale, as I mentioned, one of the ones that was delayed over five hours um, last week. And I sat in the lounge, the American Airlines lounge in Philadelphia airport for five hours, which was wonderful, but it was freezing. I had to go buy a $90 piece of shit Eagles hoodie, but I was so, it it was worth it because I was like, I'm not going to, I can't, I can't sit here any longer. I'm like, I was so uncomfortable. Um, so I would have had something. Yeah. So, all right. Last part of this, if, when you get there, you already sort of mentioned it, but are you the unpacking kind of person? It depends. So like my trip that's coming up, I'm staying at three hotels in four days. So no, (laughs) 
Right. <laughs> uh, but then, like, I'm on my cruise for three nights, so also probably no, just because, like, it's not worth it. Um, but if I'm staying somewhere, usually if it's three nights, I will. I might. We'll see. Like, when I go on my river cruise, it's a week long. I'll be unpacking for that. Um, it also really, like... That's why I use packing cubes because I don't know how clean drawers actually are. And so I want to, sure. <laughs> you know how I am. I want to make sure that like my stuff isn't going to get like gross from someone else. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm probably the same way. I, it depends on if there's space. Like I might on a three night cruise, I m- might still unpack just because the room is small, right? Yeah. Just to like get everything away. But if I'm staying somewhere longer, I'll, I, I feel more settled when it's when I'm unpacked out of a and not yeah. living out of a suitcase. But sometimes it just doesn't make make sense if the trip isn't long enough. So, well, we would love to hear what you all use. What's your tip trick for packing, staying, you know, being ready to just go? Maybe it's something we haven't thought of, um, you know, and I think, too, we travel so often that we might not be thinking of things that people think of when they don't travel as much and they're like, well, no, I need to have this. I need to have this. So, so definitely we want to hear all about it. Yeah. I mean, also like, I'm sure there's things that we've tried to pack and then realized weren't worth it. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but like, I think there's things that people who don't travel as often are like, oh, I need to make sure I take this thing where we're like, no, that's silly. Why would you take that with you? (laughs) Right. Right. Like one thing I have a stock in, which I pay stupid amounts for, but speaking of sunscreen is I, and I'm only checking bags. So I have, and I, I'd like the spray sunscreen. So I have all the little travel size spray ones, which are kind of hard to find. They're not just at every grocery yeah. store, you know what I mean? And so I like having a stockpile of them so that I have sunscreen when I travel and I don't have to go, when I get somewhere, I don't have to pay, you know, $29 for a, a spray bottle of sunscreen. So I use sunscreen sticks. So I buy korean skincare like korean sunscreen and they really love a good sunscreen stick and so that's what i use like that's what goes in my bag not liquid or spray because then i don't have to get my hands gross like i can literally be in the middle of a line at disney just like putting it all over my face and not having to worry about having to wash my hands I'll try that because it's it is the for the cream it's it's more about being feeling you know being like, uh, mm. oh I know yeah, yeah. I, you're welcome <laughs> <sighs> all right wrap us up here lady thank you so much everyone we really appreciate your support like Chris said I you know I'd love to hear what things do you pack because clearly we're both neurodivergent and like feel very particular ways about things and uh maybe you're neurotypical and you're like wow that's a really weird thing that you would pack spray or stick sunscreen you fucking weirdos let us know (laughs) yeah let us know (laughs) yeah i think it would be great to know what the normies are doing out there (laughs) oh my god (sighs) but until next time let's just go